Wu Kang pointed something out earlier this week in a video. And I think it's really important for everybody to see this and understand this. Um, some people are just not looking at the facts. Uh, you need to look at these emails that supposedly Jack sent to Forrest and realize how fake they are. Okay, Jack says, as this is your property, not mine, I would not want to move it without your explicit permission, so I covered it back up and left it where I found it. When I located it, I took some photos of the chest in situ, and after I opened the lid, I am willing to send you these photos for verification. Let's recap that. He found the chest, he uncovered it, he opened the lid. He took some photographs of it, he did not want to move it, he wanted to do as minimal as he could, because it was a legal issue. He didn't want to move anything around, he just wanted to take photographs and verify it. He closed the lid and just covered it back up in the nook, he never moved it out of the nook. He never moved it from the nook. So then he leaves the forest with the photographs he took and he goes to a hotel somewhere that he has cell phone coverage and he sends an email to Forrest and he gets an immediate response back from Forrest and Forrest asks him for those photographs and here are the photos that Jack sent him. Let's scroll down and have a look at these photographs that Jack sent Forrest in this email. Okay, so the first photograph is the chest in situ. It's sitting there under the log. Second photograph is the chest in situ under the log. Third photograph is the chest open in situ, still in the same area. It's in situ right there. It's open. Supposedly Jack closed it right there, and then he left the forest to show the photos. So he leaves the forest to show Fen his photographs that he took of the chest in situ. He didn't move it, remember? Okay, now let's scroll down a little more. Oops. Oops. There's the treasure chest in a completely different context. Open. There's no nook there. It's been moved to another location. It's got a stick in it. Who did this? So what are we to conclude here? Well, this photograph is the original photo that Forrest released, and it's probably was moved by Shiloh and he took the picture. Okay? This is when they took the bracelet out, etc., etc. In in fact, this is probably when they moved the contents to the other chest that was made in France. So nothing is matching here. So what are we to conclude here? Well, Jack said he did not move it in the email, and then he sends Forrest a picture of the chest, and it's been moved. Well, if Jack didn't move it, Jack is debunking himself. Jack is saying that he was not the original finder. So if Jack wasn't the original finder of the treasure chest, he's not the finder. It would have been Shiloh Old, or whoever took that original photo, because he says he never moved it in the email. And just so some of you people understand, let's look at this. This is all one email. This isn't multiple emails. Jack attached three photographs, three or four photographs to an email originally and sent them to Forrest. That's what the estate released. This isn't multiple emails. He didn't go back the next day and take the picture of the chest with the stick in it. This was the original email sent that night.